Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. In this video, we are going to see how we can deploy our or how we can host our Flutter web application in Firebase. Yes, in Firebase, it's very much easy to host your web applications with less uh, effort. So, in the upcoming videos, I'll show you how we can deploy our web applications in other servers like Nginx or either it may be your Amazon EC2 instance or you may have your own custom servers that you want to use for your products or any services. There also we can deploy our web applications, this Flutter web also any other kind of web applications. But specifically in this video we will see how we can deploy our last video web applications into our Firebase hosting and how it's easy and what are the requirements that we need to have before deploying into our Firebase. So let's go to our web application once again. This is the previous example that we had seen our previous videos. If you haven't seen my videos then you can follow in the link description below and you can see the other videos and you can come back to this video later on. So let's start what are the requirements that we need to follow or steps that we need to follow to deploy our Flutter web application into Firebase. As you can see that I am inside this hosting of Firebase. If you just go to this hosting options of this Firebase console and click on the get started. And you can see there are few steps that we have to follow in order to deploy our web apps. So we will have to run this command in our Firebase console, not in our Firebase console, in our project console. So let me go to my project. This is the our previous example project code and let me go to the directory of this project. I am here. So I will just open up your command prompt and we will run the commands one by one. I have copied this one and let's go back to our command prompt and run i had already ran these commands for my other projects it is already available on my system but for the first time if you are doing then it might take some time to set up these things or to download all the packages for you like we are installing the firebase tools uh, see how much time it will take on my system and it might take little more on your machine now the installation of this Firebase tools is done. Next step to follow is uh, just click on next and it says that we have to log into our Firebase to use or to host our web applications. Let me go and uh, log in. I think I have already logged in. So let's see what is going to say Firebase login. If you are already logged in, it will say that already logged in as mongoldaslima.developer at the gmail.com. If you haven't logged in, then it will take you to browser to log in with your gmail account which are associated with your Firebase projects. And the next step is that we have to initialize the Firebase because it needs few commands to be run in our command prompt to associate or to link our projects or to uh, upload the assets that we are going to build before deploying and that are required to push to our Firebase project. So let's run that command Firebase init. Now it will ask you a few questions that you just need to answer one by one. Are you ready to proceed? Select yes. And here you can see there are multiple options, right? It says like uh, emulator setup on this fast line, then remote config, configure a template file for your remote config and similarly real-time database configuration. And if you come here on this section, configure files for Firebase hosting and uh, set up GitHub action option. Just press the space bar to select and hit enter. And it will ask you to choose another option. It says that please select an option, use errors case, use an existing project, create a new project. We have to choose this, use an existing project. And if you choose that option, it will ask you which project you would like to select uh, for this tutorial. And our project name is Flutter Tutorial here. As you can see, if I go back to this section, if I 
close this one if i go here project setting the name is project id is flutter tutorial 84 3d 7 here you can see flutter tutorial 84 3d 7 and you just need to press enter and it says what do you want to use as your public directory okay let me just come back to our hosting one console click and we are on the next step in this step it ask you on which directory you want to host your applications so what we will do we will give the directory as build web why i am going to give this option i'll explain you on the next step while deploying or while building our application so as of now just type build slash web and it will say configure a single page app as of now just give a single page app because we do not have that much complex uis it is only a single page so let's say yes set up automatic builds and deploy with github if you are connecting with your github account uh, and you want to automate the process to deploy whenever you have uh, any commits or any pull request or any changes are being made to your github then you can go with the option yes but i am going with no now our firebase initialization is complete the next step is that we have to call this firebase deploy right so before calling this firebase deploy we have to build our web application website building is nothing but creating a package or bundle which will be recognized by the web servers like in our case we are going to deploy our application in firebase hosting firebase hosting understands few uh, files like index.html and main.dat.js and other firebase related packages built in javascript format in javascript bundle so we have to build our application to create a javascript bundle so how we can do that we have to type this command flutter build web when i am running this command flutter build web it will create a build folder and inside this build folder it will create a web directory and that and from that web directory it will pull or it will upload the assets or the created bundles to our firebase hosting i'll show you after this command has successfully ran it will take either less than 1 minute or it may take some more than 1 minute also just have patience and wait till the command runs successfully now our building has success and this command has generated a folder if we go to your project structure and you can see there is a build folder inside this build folder if you go you can find a web folder as well you can see there there is a main.dat.js file index file is there and few js file are also available flutter js and flutter service worker.js these things will get generated these are for canvas kit and assets so it will be automatically generated for you and whenever you try to deploy the these files will be uploaded to our firebase hosting so the next step is that how you can deploy it there is a option called firebase deploy right here we can just go and file type firebase deploy there is another option that i'll be choosing only parameters in our firebase deploy command to just choose for hosting hosting means just you are trying to upload your assets for your flutter web application into your firebase projects not your cloud functions or any other things like if i just type here it will ask me to choose options now when i run this command firebase deploy it directly deployed our assets to firebase hosting but suppose if there is any cloud functions or node js functions in your application then it would have asked you few questions to choose either you want to deploy the functions or your website or both so at that case we would have choose like this scenario like a firebase deploy 
only only hosting this will this will only deploy your build assets for your flutter web application instead of deploying your cloud functions as well in the upcoming videos i'll create how what is cloud functions and how you can use that those in our projects till then you can follow me now our deployment is completed now let's come back to this hosting and click on firebase.app.com you can see our application is loaded but our images are not being loaded from from our firebase storage what will be the issue just to know i'll show you it says that our it has been blocked by course policy if you have watched my last video i had shown you how to fix this course policy and to fix the course policy what we will do we will go to our cloud.google.com and we will have to open up that shell command or terminal in our project let's go to the console select the project and uh, click on the terminal click on open editor once these are done we have to come to this course tutorial file and uh, we'll have to add this link as of now we'll add both the links here so that it should work fine i think this has to be that one and uh, i'll also add the other i'll also add this link in our course config file now we'll save this one open the terminal now we'll have to run one command to update the changes that we just modify into our config file the command is this one if you have been following my videos then you can see this command in my last video i have shown you how you can fix the course policy error and if you haven't watched that video then you can find the link in the description and you can watch that video and come back to this step later here you can see there is a uh, flutter tutorial 8 for 3d7 and the number here is different because on the last time i had uh, deleted the project by mystically and i recreated so that this project can go on or we can create the tutorials with this project only and here you can see course tutorial course config our file name was course tutorial if i hit enter it should set the changes and it says the setting course on this has already been uh, it, this has been done to check we have to go to our flutter web application uh, which is running here and reload the application to see the changes whether it worked or not see the images are loaded properly it means the course policy has been set properly in our cloud console right here so this is the way we can deploy our flutter web application into our firebase 